when one of the main characters of a film annoys you within the first five minutes, things aren't exactly getting off to the best of starts. However, after a little while, I started to really enjoy A Very Merry Bridesmaid, and ultimately it was a film that I liked and I do recommend it. This was released in 2021. It's a Hallmark film directed by David I. Strasser, written by Tracy Andreen and Elena Valdez, and it stars Emily Osmond as Leah Taylor. Now, Leah is not the character who annoyed me. The character who annoyed me is Julia. She's getting married to Leah's brother, and Leah's birthday happens to be on Christmas Eve, and that's also the date when Julia has decided to have her wedding. And this annoys me for two reasons. One, I think any Christmas Eve wedding, if you're having a big wedding with lots, lots of guests, is a little bit selfish. Because people like to have their own time on Christmas Eve. They like to do their own traditions. They like to visit family. But if they're obligated to go to a wedding, it kind of gets in the way of that. Plus, people are generally very busy on Christmas Eve doing final plans for Christmas Day. But also, when you know it's your sister-in-law's 30th birthday, having a wedding on Christmas Eve really seems very selfish to me when you when you consider all of those things. You could having it the day before on the twenty third would have made sense, or the weekend before it still would have been a Christmas wedding. It still would have been around the holidays, but you wouldn't inconvenience many people on what is the one of the busiest days of the year, and also stealing the limelight from somebody's milestone birthday. That really annoyed me, and to be honest, the character didn't display any other irritating characteristics. I just felt her selfishness all the way through it, and that really got me off to a really negative start. But once I kind of brushed that aside and realised that the film was addressing this, Leah, you know, certain characters did say to Leah, you know, it's your birthday as well, what are you doing? Leah was just kind of brushing it aside, saying, you know, it's fine, it's all about the wedding. I like the fact that the film did address this and did kind of say, well, it never said she's selfish for doing this, but certain characters did seem a little bit surprised that she would have had a wedding on the day that her future sister-in-law turns 30 and it's Christmas Eve. So I appreciate the film doing that. But what actually happens is um, they're travelling to stay with Leah in the run-up to the wedding and the wedding dress and various other bridesmaids dresses and things go missing on the flight and they have to try and work out how best to resolve this problem and meanwhile sparks are flying with a potential romantic interest for Leah. It's somebody she's known a long time, it's not a new person in her life. Honestly, refre reflecting on the film, not a lot happened. Genuinely not a lot happened. Most of the big reveals happened within the first maybe 20 minutes of the film and after that it was just everything going through the motions to get us to the final point. But it was warm and fuzzy, it was very festive. Most of the characters were really likeable. I really like Leah. I think Emily Osmond's brilliant. And it definitely is one that could put you in the festive spirit. I also love certain other characters who were very supportive of Leah, both in terms of her career and also acknowledging frequently that it was her birthday. And I think that that's something that was really appreciated because, as I said, when the film started and I realised that this person, Julia, was having a wedding on Christmas Eve, and on her sister-in-law's 30th birthday. It really bugged me. But Leah's birthday was not forgotten. As I said, there are characters who keep reminding her about this. And I really did enjoy it after that initial negative beginning. So if you're looking for a relatively festive but very warm and fuzzy Hallmark Christmas film, A Very Merry Bridesmaid is definitely one to go with. It's also not... It's not abundantly about the wedding. Even though I think the wedding is the main focus of pretty much most scenes, it doesn't feel like a wedding-based film, if that makes sense. We're not con constantly at dress fittings or cake tastings or anything like that. They do feature, but not so much. It's definitely more Leah's story and how this happens from her perspective. So, rocky start, but I definitely enjoyed it. And if you haven't seen it, I do recommend A Very Merry Bridesmaid.